that you will get it I mean, My house is a gallery 24th favorite. I was born with a little movie. I took a dress and my neck. I'm a twin. One of the boys and treated like one of the boys. Doctors told mum and dad not to expect anything of me. <clears throat> they were wrong. Life was bloody hard. When I was 22, I knew professionally that my life was not going well as I ought to go first. It was physically too demanding. I mean, after all, I am an autical host and we do design gardens. And that's how my artist life began. I just love the fact that art has been and always will be a part of therapy for me. In a lot of ways, mentally, physically and creatively, art helps me in my day-to-day -day life. I think art has really developed my thought patterns a bit more. The benefit of art drove me to form a career and life around this. I was playing an exhibition for the end of this year, but COVID-19 is the best thing that has happened to me artistically because it's given me another 12 months to refine everything for my next exhibition. I decided early on when the pandemic hit to put it off for a while. To date, I've had three exhibitions, one of which was a solo exhibition titled Travels of the Northwest. My upcoming exhibition will be animal themed, but at the moment it is nameless. I work in many mediums like painting, sculpting, mosaics, ceramics and fabrics, but I don't always take the traditional painting route because of my disability. I don't paint with paintbrushes, I paint with foam. And I find other ways to do art my way. Curved needles for sewing, hammers for creating mosaic pieces, balloons and cardboard for creating structure and sculptures. There are still limitations and I need assistance with mixing paint, threading needles and other fine motor tasks. But artistically, I drive the wheel. I get inspired at any moment of the day or night, wherever, whenever. Usually when I'm in the shower, so it's not a particular thing, but it's a process. It's not about sitting down and looking through a thousand magazines. It's about being inspired by my mind and what comes to me. I think we've come a long way, but in my life, starting at 23, I think I could have started a lot earlier and been on a better artistic journey if I had have had more artistic opportunities growing up. I want other kids with disabilities to have purpose, not just focus on life skills, but recognize what they need to develop their interests or passion so they too can live meaningful lives. So artwork is one of the ways I lead a meaningful life, but it's not the only way. I neglected my body for a number of years. This year, the year before I turned 40, I wanted to do something about it. This year I've been exercising more, started eating a balanced diet, and I just feel good. My career has just begun, and I don't know where I'm going, but for now, I'm just happy working and growing. I could go with you. Oh, get me out. <laughs> Showing off now. <laughs>